Part of me just wants to see how long this is. I know how long this is now. You guys don't. And I will keep it that way. What about this puzzle? Looks like pretty standard Sokoban stuff. Somehow I gotta get two worms down here. Surely I don't have to get three. That would be ridiculous. I have no idea how I could get any of these worms to come down. I mean, unless if I'm pushing some up like that. But then if I try to push it back down, I immediately fall in. That's no good. If I push it over, I mean, how the hell am I going to rescue the far right worm now? It's a goner. Well, maybe if I come around and push from this side, just immediately putting that in. I can also rescue this worm pretty easily. And if I had to guess, this worm probably has to go here because I don't see a way to actually get it off of an edge. So with that idea in mind, I would come around and save this worm now. Get Edge Boy into his edge hole. And then save this worm. And that solves the puzzle. Gotcha. Well, I mean, they're making us apply the knowledge that we've learned. I will say, I think I do prefer the puzzles where you're figuring out mechanics for the first time. I'm too big for the hole by one. There is a five long worm. Looks like it needs to be vertically flipped. Sorry, horizontally flipped. That's not possible, though. It's possible. I would need to do a double eat. Uh, but I don't think the double eat will work as well as I hope it would. Like, let's say I start by eating the entirety of this. Oh, actually, this could work. I have a reasonable length in which I could do this. I immediately have a plan. I could start here. Flip. Ah, oh, crap. Messed up a little. You need to be over one. Because now, uh, when I sock it and flip it, I can then immediately go into a double eat and get a double flip. Um. Then I have to, like, go here, flip it again. Okay, and push it in. Not too bad. This room seems to be easy so far, but this next puzzle looks pretty large. Okay, it's not too bad. Again, just two worms. I like the blue on this one. Why is there a dot on this island? What are you trying to tell me out there? I feel like this is a ring level. Just because of how the two worms set up, like it's begging me to uh, do something like this. I mean, this is losing, but that's what it feels like. Maybe it's not the case. Maybe I could Ouroboros for a win. I'm like nine right now. Mm, okay, that wouldn't quite work. Okay, what if I eat this whole thing slice? I can't back off. I can't go here. I can't use the long worm as a bridge. Well, maybe. I don't know. There's probably a clean solution somewhere. It's length nine. I guess I can make a shape that looks like this. And if I slice, I could then come back over and then possess this. And actually, this lets me flip in all directions. So maybe that's the catch? Oh, that is very clever. <laughs> oh, that's very, very clever. I was like, this looks absolutely brutal and stupid and ridiculous, but it's not. It works beautifully. Gorgeous puzzle. Another room complete. A puzzle who starts on the very inside. What the? I start way out here. Well, my hand is forced. I must begin here. And I guess the only way I can go anywhere is if I double sock. I screwdriver it. So I do it to shrink in order to win. Ah, how do I escape this? And why am I freaking Vanta Black? I feel like I gotta eat. Eat again. No, that's not it. Well, if I push that over, slide, so I double sock and then cut off my head. Oh, it doesn't work. Is there a triple sock solution? I don't know what the hell's going on here. I think it's easier if I reset. I have to start like this. I have to go here, here, then here. Now it's up to me. I get to choose my own adventure. I could... Well, I can't do anything else from here. I can push that up. And then I can eat. Then I can eat again. I can double push. I can become big. Big, 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 big. Like eat? Uh, I can't quite eat again. I now can't back up anymore. Kind of want to back up so the two pieces isn't positioned there. Because I don't like that spot. 
have it be here instead. Because now I can at least push it over like that and slice again. All right, now I'm freaking huge. I'm a mammoth. Now can I take the too long piece and sock it somehow? I can't. Back it up then. I don't get this level at all. I mean, the question is obvious. How do I just get out at all? Possibly by pushing something down? Yeah, I guess actually I was onto something when I was pushing down the worm. Because I think it still makes sense to eat these for maneuverability. But now I can push it down and that is a really good start. I can push it down, down, down. But now I can't get out. If I go all the way back, can I push this over one more? I mean, I don't see why not. Oh, from here, if I push this up, I could push these over together. That way I can actually eat while still having the final worm be not too high and at an achievable position. Here I can actually sock it. Now I'm not sure what to do with this yet. That's probably what I gotta do with it. Because now I can finally escape. And hopefully I can escape a little more. Well, I, I can sock here. Mm, let's try to just make it to land instead. That's probably a much better idea. Okay, yeah, sure. Ugh, very finicky, but it's done. This is so many worms, excuse me? Wait, it's blocking my path? Wait, maybe I can squeeze through here. I really have to squeeze through. Why are there so many worms here? I start as a two size. There is no way that these worms are anything more than a distraction, right? Well, I have a couple options, right? I can start by cutting off my head or I could sock the whole thing. If I sock the whole thing, I'm actually not getting out at all. But I think I'm cutting off my head here. And then the only thing I can do is eat this food or, or I guess just keep moving on over. I don't know, but I'm not really doing anything here. I mean, I guess I could keep eating the food. I could also go up to this, which means I could push these worms down. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I get the puzzle. Wait, this is really clever. This feels like lock picking. These dots need to be in this row because at the very end, I will lower this worm down, eat a, uh, a dot, or not really eat a dot, go on a dot, then go on the next dot, then on the next dot, on the next dot, 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 to here, and then eat it and grow and win. But if these dots are all in a line, I can do that. And each row needs to be pushed down in a specific amount so it gets there. It's actually like lockpicking. So let me make sure the, the longest distance I can push something down is five, right? Because I have this worm, this worm, this worm, this worm, this worm, and this column. Does this column get pushed down five? Yes, it does. Okay. Like the, the big worm basically adds one. So the edges will already get pushed into position. So it's just the middle six that need to be pushed down. These top four needs to be pushed down three. This needs to be pushed down two. This needs to be pushed down one. So I would imagine I would push this over. And then I could probably push this to here to get these two by one. And I don't know if this adds up, but it might. I don't know if this adds up. It looks like it's a little short. Because if I come up here, I possess this. Bring it all the way down. Yeah, these are all equally short. Let me back this up a little bit. So I only have 10 length of worm that's being pushed into the lock. And of the middle six dots, they need to move down 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 equals 15 spaces. But I almost have to think about how the worms overlap as they go down in order to create like a suitable key. Like for example, would this be a better lineup? Because I think it has a lot more depth to it. I think it does have more depth. Does it have enough depth? It does. What a glorious puzzle. Wow. 
it just suddenly clicks. I'm like, that's what you have to do. Why does it look so weird like that? There's only one thing it possibly could be. Well, that probably was my favorite puzzle in the game now. <laughs> there were some damn good ones too. I'm like, no, this one has to suck so bad, but that is amazing. All right, so how about this one? Somehow I gotta get a two length very far. Am I constructing a bridge? Am I doing something else? I don't know. The gap is four long. So I have an idea of how this puzzle could work. First though, I think I need to just push the dots over. This seems to be a puzzle where if I take this, I can push up against the wall, sock it, and it will rotate just fine. Now I don't know if pushing a dot in there is right. Something tells me that's just bad. Well, yeah, I have to assume that's the case. I think one of them needs to be pushed through the water. Maybe they both need to be pushed through the water. Reset real quick. What if I start by pushing one in? Like I'm making a portable bridge. Start here. Ah, uh, but then I can't flip turn. Well, what if I start here? This actually could work. Hold on. I need to push it over, flip it first, and then flip turn it again, like that. And then continue the process. Yeah, it can only go so far though. Because here, I can't really flip turn it further. Maybe just push one into the water? I don't know what I'd do with the other one. Well, ideally I'd want to stack it on top of the first. Like I'm starting to think about this backwards now, like how I want to win. If I had two stack dots, at this position, I could then use the L piece to push the top stacked off dot off the bottom one, having it land here. Like if I had two dots here and here, in any way, for example, I would have a bridge in which I could win, which I think requires stack dots, which also requires me somehow bypassing this. You know what? Maybe I just gotta push them both in the water. Maybe that's not absurd. Because maybe I don't need to stack the dots. I just need to push them over like that. You know, and then just kind of push them over again. And then use this to set up another push over. Hmm. So what I want is to have the two dots be one gap apart from each other within the water. Is that possible? I think it actually is possible. Uh, and it would look kind of like this. It would look like that. And the reason I want that is so I can move them separately. Which would look kind of like this and that. See what I'm doing? So I want to leave it in this position then when I push it all the way back. Because it needs to alternate positions due to the locations of the dots within the water changing. And now it needs to be in this position. It's not the most elegant of puzzles, but it actually is getting done, so praise be for that. And, I mean, okay, it's kind of coming together, you know? It's it's a nice system, but, god, this is so weird to think of. I think, then, I just need to do this once more. Because now I just move that, and then I need to move the both of them together. Which means setting up in that position one last time, and then rotating both. There we go. I've created the bridge I wanted. I can make it to my goal. This was finicky as hell, um, but still overall good. I just feel bad because there's no real easy way to explain these. I just gotta kind of do them. And yes, we are at 15 puzzles in this world so far. This looks like it should be super easy.